Time to play the game! On Friday night, November 18th in Paramus, the Paramus Catholic Paladins defeated the Don Bosco Ironmen 35-29 in the non-public Group 4 semi-final game. Elijah Jackson's two touchdowns and 115 yards on the ground sends the Paladins to MetLife Stadium in the championship game for the third time in five years. On the very next afternoon, Saturday, November 19th, just up the road in Oradell, the St. Peter's Prep Marauders would take on the Bergen Catholic Crusaders. Jonathan Lewis's two touchdown passes and run rushing touchdown led the Marauders to a 28-7 victory over the Bergen Catholic Crusaders, setting the stage for the state championship game. Paramus Catholic for St. Peter's, and it's up next. The stage is set at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The non-public Group 4 state championship game between the St. Peter's Prep Marauders and the Paramus Catholic Paladins. Hello everyone, Anthony Source here for Source Media. After a one-year hiatus in the state championship game, the Paladins and the Marauders are back. For the third time in four years, the Paladins will face the Marauders. The Paladins won in 2013 by a score of 13-6. St. Peter's returned the favor in 2014, 34-18. Let's get it on! The Marauders, first drive of the night. Jonathan Lewis, a 61-yard touchdown run, and the Marauders have the early 6-0 lead. In the second quarter, the Paladins would move ahead. Jonathan Clark's 38-yard touchdown run, it's 7-6. Jonathan Lewis would take the Marauders down the field on a time-consuming drive. His one-yard touchdown run and a two-point conversion puts the Marauders up 14-7. Andrew Brito going to try to rally the Paladins before the half. He's intercepted by Shane Simon, and the Paladins trail 14-7 at the half. We would see a different Paladin team in the second half. Andrew Brito, he's going to take the carry, and he's going to take it down to the Marauders' seven-yard line. On the very next play, Elijah Jackson in from seven yards out, and we are tied at 14. The Marauders will gamble on fourth down. Jonathan Lewis's pass to Jorge Portilial is incomplete, and the Paladins are going to take over. Brito takes the Paladins downfield. Matt Zelaya with the 24-yard touchdown pass. The Paladins are up 20-14. It was only a matter of time before Elijah Jackson would really bust loose. 82 yards for the touchdown. Pretty much putting St. Peter's on ice right now. It's 26 to 14. Andrew Brito would score the final Paladin points of the day. 17 yards out. The Paladins have a 33-14 lead. The Marauders would score two late touchdowns, but it would not be enough as the Paramus Catholic Paladins reclaim the non-public Group 4 state championship by defeating the Marauders by a score of 33-28. Congratulations, Dan Sabella. First year at the helm for Paramus Catholic. What a way to go. In the 
locker room, everybody's like, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna score, and then our defense is gonna get a stop, and we're gonna get the ball back. That's what everybody's mindset was, and we came out and we executed that. So that's why, that's really why we came out and, and we did our thing. Nobody really got down in the locker room. It got kind of scary. You're up 31, 33, 14, and all of a sudden they score a touchdown onside kick and one touchdown and they're ahead. Yeah, exactly. That was. I, I never really got down, and I tried to pick everybody up that did get down because we still had the lead at the end of the day, and we're still getting the ball. So I knew what we were capable of doing, but I, I just wanted to make sure nobody really got down on it. Great football game. It, you know, we we came out and played a great second half. I thought made it a little tougher on ourselves down there at the end, but uh, it feels good. You know. To see, to, to, to set a goal and to see it through, you know, a three, it's been really a three-month journey with these guys, and it's great to finish it. Five minutes to go in the game, 33 to 14. It's seemingly won. All of a sudden, they need one touchdown. They're ahead. What do you tell them? How do you tell them not to get down on themselves? It was, uh, you know, fourth and ten would have been nice to get off the field, but that's football. Hey, they got a lot of, they got a lot of weapons. Well, and that, you know, it, it was scary at the end. I'm not going to lie to you, but it, uh, thank God we found a way to pull it out.